Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video has been prompted by a subscriber who wanted to know how to set up the gyro in a model aeroplane, uh, a foamy that the, the person purchased. So one a bit like this. Let me show you. There we go. So this small little park flyer has got a gyroscope in it. Now it comes with a radio, but we want to program it to the multi-protocol module in the Zorro radio. So I'm going to switch over to the radio, the Zorro radio, and show you the settings. Now, there's just one thing to remember. You need to know what channel is used for which function. Like this is, there's a gyro um, you know, to turn the gyro on and off, and there's also a, a switch for calibration. Now, you need to find this out. Now, I'm going to put a uh, flash up on the screen the resource that you use to go into the multi-protocol module website, and it will tell you whether you can actually connect your multi-protocol module to that particular model. So it's not as simple as just uh, getting the model and you need to find this information out. Now with this particular um, model, I could find the details. So I know which, pro which switch and which um, channel is doing what function. Now let's take a, a quick look at it. This is where we need to go to get the details of the protocol that is being used in our model aeroplane. And if you go up to here, it's multi-module.org. Now, I know that this one in this plane is the V761 protocol. So if we go down and we've got notes, so it's telling you which, where the beginner mode is, it's going to be on minus 100. And the midpoint zero is going to be gyro with no limits and plus 300 is going to be the expert mode. So in other words, basically the gyro off. Then it tells you about the calibration and to do with momentary switch for the flip and then the return to home one, which I think is not a genuine return to home because there's no gyro in this, as far as I'm all, um, no GPS as far as I understand. Then you've got the sub protocol. So if we go down here, you see there's two, but in, the, in my case, they both match up. So you see channel one, then we've got Oh, here, so four channel, there's a four channel. Once we've got channel one, two, three, and four, which are AETR, which is our normal channels, then you can see channel five is gyro, channel six is where the calibration will be, uh, channel seven is the flip, and then the return activated and return to home on channel nine. Now let's take a look at the radio. Now the two things we need to look at are the mixes and, to, and our sounds that we've set up. So if we go into the model, and we're going to go across. And if we go to mixes, oh, too far, let's go back. There we go, you can see. Now with this particular model, the gyro is on channel five. And if I go into the edit, you can see I've just picked, picked switch SC. Uh, then everything else would be standard, except for this to work correctly. I had to put the weight in as minus 100 instead of plus 100. Now, if we go to the next one, which is the calibrate one, this will be, I selected switch SA. I obviously put the name in there, it's switch SA. Everything else will be standard, so its weight is, is plus 100. Then we go on to the flip mode. I've set that up on uh, switch SH. And again, it will just be standard. The weight is plus 100, and I've selected the switch and put the name in there that I want. Now, if we go down and we go to the return one, that's on channel 8. Edit. Same again. I put the name in return and selected the switch that I need. Now, I say this is only relevant to this particular model. You need to find which channel belongs to which function. So that's the mixes. Let's go forward on to special functions. And if we go down just above there, you can see the switch SC is in the four position. Now that is expert mode, so that'd be minus 100. Zero gyro assist mode. will be gyro assist mode and back towards us. Gyro assist mode. So that would be the um, gyro working the most for us to be able to uh, fly the aeroplane. Now if we move down, you can see I've put a calibrate button there. So if you just push the Oops, let me get the right one. Gyro calibration. So this clicker here, if I push that and gyro hold it, calibration. it would calibrate the gyro. Okay, so flip is this button Let's here. This so that would be the flip mode that this has to do, uh, I think it's a roll, and then the return to home, which I don't think is a true return to home, but that would be this button here, G. Return to home. 
So that's everything you need to do to set up the plane. But the important bit, that's the easy part. The important bit is working out what receiver you have in your model and which channel is which. Please check your model settings to make sure they're correct before flying your model aeroplane. And there we go. As you can see, it's all dependent on your particular model that you've bought and what receiver it has in it. So not all receivers are going to bind to this. So you have to do a little bit of research. It's not as simple as just program, programming your radio. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.